I've had a lot of requests for a day in the life video. You just get to see a day in the life of a tour pro who's just trying to keep his game in check and keep his head above water. Let's do it. For breakfast, I had a cup of coffee, an entire avocado, some sausage, four eggs, three tortillas, and some cheese, and made breakfast tacos. I know that's a ton of food, but it's the first meal of the day, and usually I don't get a very big lunch when I'm on the course, so I have to load up on the first most important meal of the day. In a full day of practice, it I have to eat 4,000 calories to keep from losing weight, and I'm trying to gain weight, so I have to just eat a stupid amount of food. Uh, after that, change clothes, and then got in my car and called Wolf Dancer to make a tea time, which I understand I probably should have done a whole lot earlier. And I got- Tin Tan? Okay, perfect. perfect. Yeah. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, thank you. So then I start driving to Wolf Dancer. The only thing that sucks about playing out here, it's a great course, it's a really good challenge. Practice facility is fantastic, but it's a 40 minute drive, which kind of sucks, but it's also, I mean, I'm a 40 minute drive from one of the hardest courses in Texas, so it works out. The, the hardest course in Austin, as it has been rated by Golf Week Magazine. pre-round routine on a day like this. I, I don't really grind too hard on the range before a round. I like to get my practice in on the course. The, the range is really just for warming up. So I'll hit putts for about five, 10 minutes, maybe, to get the speed right. And then I'll head to the range and I'll hit balls for 10, 15 minutes-ish. So a little, little under a half hour warm up for a round like this. I just don't want to go, down, go out onto the course super tight, making bad swings, because that's how you form bad habits. There's this wedge routine, I, I told you guys about it in my uh, my college golf vlog back when I was, in, uh, I think I was a junior in college when I made that. Time flies, man, I had 10 subscribers when I posted that video, but uh, there's this wedge thing I do every morning. I'll hit 10 wedges, each one farther than the one before, it really helps me get my, my field dialed in with the wedges. Helps me get the distance right. And it's a good drill. If you don't do it, you probably should. It's it's just a good way to work yourself into a full swing without, you know, straining a muscle or trying to swing too hard with your first thing out. Especially good on chilly mornings like this. Numero uno. Don't know if you guys have already seen my full course vlog out here, but I showed you guys every hole, played the entire course. I think I shot one over even in that course vlog. It's a it's a really good track. It's really challenging. Um, today I'm gonna be I'm behind a foursome, which is fine. I'm sure they're gonna play quick. Hold up. Is it cart path only? <sighs> it's uh, it's cart path only. All right, so I'm playing 18 holes today. I'm by myself. I uh, I'll play my first ball out, and usually if I'm inside of 150 yards, I'll drop two more balls, and I'll play those in. Gets me some more reps. Um, if I miss a green, I like to drop two more balls and get try to get all three of them up and down. Just uh, something to get myself a little more practice because, you know, playing 18 holes of golf, if you're out here for four hours and you only hit 70 shots, it's not a very good use of time. I mean, you're learning how to play the game, sure, but um, you really got to take advantage of your time on the course because that's the real practice. You know, just, just sitting around a chipping green hitting balls is not really doing anything for you. So when I'm out on the course, I like to get a little extra practice in when I can. These guys are letting me through. That's dummy chill. I just rope this thing downwind on this hole right here. Doesn't this hole just look to you like it should just sprint down that fairway? Landed and splatted. Divot, ball. This is a just such a hard downslope. This thing should be in that bunker right there. Instead, I've got 298 yards to the pin. Mm. Well, you see what happened there. Um, I was on a downslope, so I thought if I can loft this thing up off of a downslope, the downslope will make it go farther. It's downwind, maybe I can get this through into the green. And I sat back on it and caught the bottom groove. Uh, 
241 playing 246 to this flag. I have a birdie challenge with one of my students out here. I am going to birdie this hole at some point. 241 yard par three, it's one of the three, four holes in the course I haven't birdied yet. I'm getting it right here. I'm gonna hit a little choke down, cut two iron in there, 246 into the wind. And no cut, no cut at all. I don't know if the camera's picking up that slope, but uh, I have almost no grain to work with. This should be impossible. Honestly, I'll, I will take that. <laughs> Getting that on the green, I'm happy with. Now that is a true testament to how ridiculous these greens are. I'm pretty sure I set that camera up not thinking it was gonna be a problem and that putt went out of frame. Good test, good test, Wolf Dancer. Now I don't normally do this, but uh, downwind, 335 yard par four, I'm gonna give it a go. I just, I just, you know, I just felt like doing it for the vlog. All right, Ben, yeah, that was funny, but you really overdid it. Let's just use the second take and um, make sure to remove that. Do not forget and leave this part in there. That would be really embarrassing, seriously. Just felt like doing it for the vlog. You guys are welcome. Oh, that's exciting. That's the first time I've gone for that green since I joined here. What a good feeling. Okay, so a couple things I want to talk about with that shot. This shot, I was right there, I'm going to there. It's a little uphill, a little into the grain, and a little bit, here, I'll come over here and show you. And a little bit right to left, okay? So what I did here, I shut the face just a little bit and um, hit almost like a hook chip. Now what that's gonna do, especially uphill and into the grain, it's gonna stop it from popping up too high and catching and, and, and stopping. You might notice sometimes on chips on Bermuda greens, if you're uphill and into the grain, the chip will catch, especially if you put some cut spin on it, because cut spin tends to have higher RPMs than hook spin. So, I mean, this is this is high level stuff, by the way. If you're, if you're a 15 handicapper, I wouldn't mess around with this too much. I like to put a little bit of draw spin on my chips. It requires a little bit of a shallower angle. It's kind of a difficult shot, but it works really well on shots like this where you have a tendency to get stuck. There are three turkey vultures on the tee box I'm getting ready to hit off of. And if that is not a sign, I don't know what is. Ooh, ooh boy. Last hole of the day, might as well film it. Imagine something good might happen.
at this putt to finish birdie par eagle to shoot even. Isn't golf interesting? So since I feel like some of you guys might find this interesting, um, here's what I'm working on right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have an idea of this, but um, I've been struggling with from the top. So I get up here. Well, first of all, I'm taking it away like this, like this, and then I'm rolling to here. And from here, I have no choice but to drop it in and come away from the inside in order to get it to shallow. So what I'm trying to feel is almost like a Matthew Wolf kind of takeaway. It feels like it, um, but it's not even close to that. Basically, the feeling is hands really low and slow away and straight up. And then I center everything out. That's my first move here, snapping the level. So my knees, hips, and shoulders all align. That's my first move, is right here. Okay, and then I'm coming, it feels like I'm coming over the top with an opening face. And it's been working well, but I hit a couple loose shots today, and I think it just had something to do with ball position. So that's all I'm gonna work on now, is just ball position. When I get one of these rulers, I put it up to my shoulders like this, and I take a Sharpie, and I mark where shoulder width is, and then I base everything off of that. So with a seven iron, I want it just kind of barely in the middle of my stance, like 21 inches right here, just a little bit forward of center. So I'll line everything up off of that. And if I can get the ball position to be consistently correct, this move should be good. Because um, the problem I'm running into is typically I'll have the ball a little bit farther back in my stance. So then when I come in and I'm on the arc, my club is coming inside with a slightly open face and then I just hit pushes. I'm able now to make the right swing, which is a little bit, it feels a little bit over the top, but it's actually on plane. But when I put it back in my stance like that, if I come over the top, face is wide open and I'm cutting across it. So I hit that big flare that I hit a couple times today. So if I get this thing right in the correct part of my stance, and I feel this low and up, and then connection first, And that's how I made that eagle on 18. After I finished hitting balls, I drove an hour across Austin to give a lesson. You too. There you go. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Let's get to work. Okay, so you want to start with putting? Yeah. I'll let my student be nameless here, but we got some great work done. In about 30 minutes of hitting balls, we got him turning 10 times better. Look at the hip and trail shoulder depth. Awesome work by this guy. If you want some lessons of your own, send me a DM on Instagram at Ben Hadden Golf or book a lesson over at bhg.golf, a virtual lesson. Um, in the description of your purchase, say what time you want to do and I'll get back to you and say if that works for me. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the best, just keep that in mind. And while you're there, make sure to pick up one of these sweet divot tools and pick up a green long sleeve t-shirt and right in time for Masters Week. We're all trunk slammers, it's time to rep the lifestyle. After I got home from my lesson, I head to the gym. If you want to see what I do in the gym, I just posted a video on that, make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned anything from that video, make sure to drop a like and a comment. Uh, help me out with the algorithm a little bit and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any content in the future. Love you guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, uh, download Par Points to enjoy golf more. Uh, I've got a sick match coming uh, with four tour pros, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It's gonna be really exciting. Had an awesome finish. It's a super great match. You guys are really gonna enjoy that video. And Stripe Golf Co, link in the description for their website. Head over there and use BHG15 for 15% 15 off your entire purchase. These hats are sick and started by a company in my hometown. So let's go support them. Goodbye. <laughs>